83 GTA 5 facts that will make you scream I poppy this chorizo is new e delicioso. A peyote plant is a collectible featured in the enhanced version of Grand Theft Auto 5, named after the real-life peyote cactus which contains psychoactive properties. Once the player finds a peyote plant, an on-screen prompt will tell the player to eat it. After this, they will faint and fall on the ground, and the screen will shimmer and display bright colors, similar to the effects of weed. When the player comes to his senses, they will seemingly find themselves in the body of a random animal. The player cannot choose which type of animal they can take control of, however the peyote will make echoing animal noises when the player is near it, giving them a hint what they will turn into as well as the plant's whereabouts. Even if the player is an animal, NPC interaction will still be treated like normal. If the player approaches some gangsters as an animal, they would talk to him and open fire if provoked. Police may respond to any crime committed as an animal. Expect a wanted level when flying over any restricted area as a bird. Wanted levels can be eliminated by ending the hallucination. Playable animals can also be attacked and killed by NPC animals in the wilderness. I really hope you enjoy the video so far because it took forever to edit. The good part is that I did this video at work. GTA 5 marks Los Santos' second appearance in the series after its 3D universe counterpart in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, which came out in 2004. Los Santos is based on Los Angeles, California and its greater metropolitan area. Los Santos is Spanish for the Saints, a play on the Angels, which is the translation of Los Angeles. Like its real-life counterpart, Los Santos is a huge and sprawling metropolis with various different cultures, ranging from the prestigious filmmaking industry of Vinewood to the suburban hood life of Strawberry. When Rockstar Games started to conceptualize Grand Theft Auto V, they felt that they still had work to do in San Andreas. Dan Hauser, the English vice president of Rockstar Games along with his brother, Sam Hauser, as well as the VP of Creativity, had given his idea on creating a new Los Santos this time around. Once asked what is difference between Los Santos in GTA San Andreas and in GTA V, the lead artist Aaron Garbutt stated that the focus of San Andreas was gang culture, while the focus of GTA V is about contemporary culture of LA as a whole. The concept of eating for health was first introduced in GTA Vice City in the form of several restaurants scattered throughout Vice City, including two well-stacked pizza outlets and eight food court outlets at when the player's health is less than 100 points, halos will appear at the counters of the aforementioned restaurants. The player can choose to walk up to any of the halos to order a meal. Because each restored health point costs $1, it is actually more expensive and less effective to eat for health than simply picking up health icons at hospitals or other locations. In GTA San Andreas, the concept of eating is elevated into a basic necessity, becoming the primary source of health in the game. Carl must purchase and consume food or drink at least once every 72 in-game hours, or he will risk starvation. Eating in GTA 5 is now much more limited as the player can no longer purchase food at street vendors and the once accessible restaurants from GTA 4 are no longer able to be accessed. When going out with a friend, there is no option to eat at restaurants. The player is only able to consume snacks purchased at convenience stores. Franklin has an awesome ability that allows allows him to flawlessly glide through traffic at high speeds to help get out of intense chases by slowing down time and getting full control of his car. Turns out that it actually came from Rockstar's Midnight Club franchise as it was used as one of the special abilities for in-game racing. Franklin was arrested for public exposure when he was merely sagging his pants for fashion. Franklin's actual age is much of a mystery for most of the game but he is obviously younger than Michael and Trevor. That said, the only real clue we have towards his age is the small hint that could be his license plates that read FC 1988 and it would only make sense that FC stands for Franklin Clinton and that 1988 could be his birth year. Seeing as the events of Grand Theft Auto V seem to be in line with present day, then that would make Franklin around 25 years old since the game initially came out in 2013. Even in his young age, he seems to handle himself in Los Santos just as well as Trevor and Michael you despite their experience and right past ties to crime. You've never had it so good. The Maze Bank Tower is a 96-story skyscraper in Grand Theft Auto V and Grand Theft Auto Online. Maze Bank Tower is at an altitude of 1,050 feet, making it almost half the total height of Mount Kilian. On top of the building is a helipad. Roof access is present but only accessible during certain missions and fully usable in the enhanced version of GTA Online as an office. In Jock Cranley's campaign video, it is claimed that the tower was built prior to 1985. The Maze Bank Tower may be considered the HD Universe counterpart of the similarly looking unnamed Los Santos Tower from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. The building appears to be based on the real-life U.S. Bank Tower in Los Angeles, the tallest building in the city until 2016 and the 81st tallest building in the world. It plays a major role in the enhanced version of GTA Online, where it serves as an office for organizations as part of the further adventures in finance and felony update. It is purchasable on the Dynasty
68 executive website for $4 million and, as part of the import-export, can be expanded with an office garage. Dr. Dre initially appeared in the Cayo Perico heist in a small cameo. In contracts, his role was extended as he appeared as a more prominent figure in the story. DJ Pooh, who acts as the radio presenter for the West Coast Classics radio station in Grand Theft Auto V, is a longtime friend of Dr. Dre. According to Rockstar North's head of development Rob Nelson, Pooh is how the studio got in touch with Dr. Dre. DJ Pooh went to Dr. Dre's house and brought over a copy of Grand Theft Auto V. According to Pooh, by showing off all the things he could do in the game and all that Rockstar's latest modern open-world action title had to offer, Dr. Dre was convinced to work on the game. DJ Pooh was already a creative consultant and writer for GTA V. He had some high praise for Rockstar as well, saying that it reminded him of Def Jam back in the day. Pooh went on to explain how buying a Rockstar game was like buying a Def Jam record. The minigun is a recurring machine gun in the Grand Theft Auto franchise, based on various US minigun models, appearing as a heavy weapon since its introduction in Grand Theft Auto Vice City. The minigun can be purchased at Ammonation after completing the mission The Polito Score for $15,000. You can find the minigun in a room on the top floor of the Fort Sankudo control tower. If picked up, another should spawn after 30 seconds. There will be a soldier sat on a chair in the room that will engage the player upon entering. Obtaining the minigun is extremely risky due to the large presence of soldiers and rhino tanks unless invincibility cheat is in use. Originally in GTA 5, the barrels would have two barrel clamps. The current version only has one thick clamp. Most pre-release materials, as well as the hot icons, depict the original version of the minigun. As of the further adventures in Finance and Felony Update, a rare golden minigun inside a weapons and ammo crate can be purchased through the SecuroServe network for $23,000. It is apparently made of 24 karat gold and cannot be used as a conventional weapon. Rain or drizzle occurs in most GTA games every three to five days, though this can vary depending on the climate. For example, in GTA San Andreas, rain mainly occurs in Los Santos, San Fierro, and the surrounding countryside. Rain can also occur in Las Venturas and Bone County, but very rarely. GTA Vice City first introduced realistic raindrops forming on the player's screen as if they were literally in the protagonist's shoes. The 3D universe introduced cars' headlights reflecting the rain on the road which instantly resulted in senses of realism making the game more alive and increasing the atmosphere. The rainfall can vary depending on how clear the skies are. Rain also affects the performance of many road vehicles, and can degrade handling and braking power due to slippery roads. GTA 4 introduces new variable forms of rainfall, including drizzle. In GTA 5, this is enhanced even further, with different intensity of rainfall being featured. It ranges from drizzle and sun showers to torrential downpours. How with your dog? Animals have been around since the 3D universe, but GTA 5 greatly expanded their role in the series. There are 7 dog breeds in GTA 5, 10 land animals, 6 birds, and 7 sea animals in the open world. A few other animals appear in GTA 5, but players cannot interact with them in a meaningful way. The 7 dog breeds in GTA 5 are Border Collie, Golden Retriever, Husky, Poodle, Pug, Rottweiler, West Highland Terrier. Although there are a few other notable dogs, Chop, a Rottweiler, is the most important animal in GTA 5. The iFruit app can customize Chop's appearance and behavior. Dexie is another notable dog, and she appears in One Strangers and Freak's mission. There is also an unnamed dog that communicates with Franklin in Dom Beasley's missions. Dogs can attack other NPCs or the player if provoked. These animals are usually seen near their owners and will attack players who attack the owners. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment for the algorithm and subscribe for more GTA stuff.